camera on, cat in position, all that's left is you. Are you ready for some good news? First up, doctors in Brazil are testing an innovative new burn treatment. Because Brazil lacks the resources available in developed countries, patients with severe burns are usually treated with gauze bandages and burn cream. The bandages must be changed often, which is painful, and while they prevent infection, they do little to promote healing. All that may be about to change thanks to a new kind of bandage made from an unexpected material, fish skin. Sterilized tilapia skin, to be exact. Tilapia are plentiful in Brazil, and until this, their skin was mostly treated as a waste product. But when doctors discovered that it contained high amounts of collagen proteins that are known to promote scarring, they realized there might be a use for it after all. The skin is also naturally moist, tougher than human skin, and needs to be changed far less often than gauze bandages. It reduces pain and shortens healing time. Donated human skin, animal skin, and artificial skin are much more widely available in the U.S., so this treatment probably won't be of immediate interest to doctors here. But in developing countries like Brazil, where state-of-the-art burn treatments are much more difficult to come by, bandages made from the discarded skin of an inexpensive fish could be very good news indeed. The tilapia skin bandages are currently in clinical trials. Next up, researchers in North Carolina have developed a two-dimensional material that can be folded into three-dimensional structures by remote control. The technique involves printing lines in various colors of ink on the surface of a thin sheet of polymer. When the sheet is exposed to infrared light, the lines absorb more heat than the rest, causing the polymer to contract and the sheet to fold, turning the lines into hinges. Since different colors absorb different wavelengths of light, the hinges can be made to fold in any order by exposure to different colors of light. The hinges can also be made to fold sequentially when exposed simultaneously to a single wavelength of light since different colors absorb light better than others. Now, of what possible use could any of this be? This isn't just a cool science thing. There are many potential practical applications for this technology. For instance, objects that can be shipped in their flat, unfolded state, then made to take on their intended shape once they reach their destination. Or devices that can be triggered remotely to self-assemble from within clean environments where direct human contact is impossible. The paper on sequential self-folding polymer sheets is published in the journal Science Advances. And now you've just turned your back on the entire enterprise. Excellent. Finally, researchers at MIT have found a way to 3D print using cellulose. It's widely available and used in countless products already, but cellulose has been a challenging material to adapt to 3D printing because its structure breaks down when heated. The MIT researchers have solved this problem by using cellulose acetate dissolved in room temperature acetone. This material can then be printed into any shape, and once the acetone evaporates and the material dries, it can be treated with sodium hydroxide to create a strong, durable finished product. Cellulose is already one of the most versatile materials known to science. Combining it with the 3D printing process only multiplies that versatility. As a proof of concept, the MIT team 3D printed a set of surgical tweezers made from cellulose combined with an antimicrobial agent. The result, a surgical tool that sterilizes itself. The cellulose method could also be faster and less expensive than 3D printing with other materials because it doesn't require high temperatures to prepare the material. The paper on 3D printing with cellulose is published in the journal Advanced Materials Technologies. Doctors create a better burn bandage using tilapia skin. Researchers create sheets of plastic that can be triggered by remote control to fold into 3D shapes and researchers invent a new way of 3D printing using cellulose. You all right? That's the good news. 
Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.